Welcome to Kung Fu Havoc number two. Um, probably not going to do anything other than this chit chat right here tonight. So, I've had a rough day. Thank you guys for coming to my lives. If you're from TikTok or Instagram, I am sorry about that. I did have to end the live. I'm probably going to jump in this spider suit, make a couple of TikToks, and then hit the bed by 12.30 at best. I believe it is currently... 11:16. So yeah, I'm gonna make me a couple of TikToks tonight, and um, hopefully you guys enjoy the um, the live martial art stuff that I posted here for y'all. Um, I literally was gonna get that tablet there and that tablet there, and also go on um on YouTube live. The problem was um one, the weather here has been acting funky, man. We were supposed to be hot until Wednesday, and then we are supposed to have a storm on Thursday and Friday. So, um, <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. But, um, I want to make sure that I, um, I can get shit done right, you know. And so, that being said, um, I might do some monologue Mondays this weekend. I'm not going to swear too far ahead, and I'm not going to go too far ahead, just because of the simple fact that I did not write in my book today. I should have, but I kept flipping a coin. I really, I'm going to be honest, I just didn't feel like fucking doing it. And sometimes those things happen, because sometimes I have to process shit, and when it comes to writing like books, you have to go back and read where you left off sometimes. <laughs> Or you'll fuck it up. And I had fucked some shit up. Like yesterday. So I had to go back and change some shit. And then to come to find out that. I had to change more shit. Because. The main character is named Allie. It started off as Sally. And as I went on. I changed it to Allie. I thought I saved it and was. um Overriding existing programming it never did that shit <laughs> it literally never never did that shit and so I'm like oh that's not good <laughs> so I had a lot of stuff that I had to redo I had to fix um, names and relationships and stuff so I'm on like page 86 so Hopefully, hopefully, I will get that stuff done. So I'm going to get on TikTok now, and I'm going to make a few TikToks in a spider suit. <laughs> this spider suit. And um, i got to find my goo gun. My glue gun, so that I can um fix that. But before I go, I'll tell you all about these goddamn ants. <laughs> I have to use this Air Force cup at night now. Not that I don't love my Air Force Cup. I love my Air Force Cup. It's nice. But. My red cup. That I have tea in it. The ants have been all in it. So I think what I'm going to do is. I'm going to find me another cup. Or I'm going to start using my black cup as my main cup. And retire my red cup. Because my black cup has a top. But I don't know if it has a straw thing. Does it have a straw? No, it does not have a straw thing. It's got this black ball in there, though. I don't know why that's in there. It's, uh... This thing. Um, let me see something. Because if my straw can fit in there, I won't have to buy another cup. I can just retire my cups. I drank out of straws, y'all, just so I can um, save my teeth. So, like in the daytime, this straw fits without a problem. Yeah, because I can, um, I can, um, get the straw to right here, and then I can cut it so it would be closed up perfectly in there. Yeah, 
fantastic. This might be my um, ultimate solution. The only thing about this cup is that it doesn't have a handle. I don't like having cups with no handle. Okay, yeah, see, I can do that, and then I can do that. And that can keep the ants out of my cup. So we can we can work with that. It's not a cup. It's a shake bottle and it's some French shake. Oh. Shaker ball. That's what that is. I'm an idiot. It's literally <laughs> right there. I may have made a video about this before and my old age might have just made me fucking forget about it. But yeah. We may have to start doing that. If there's still ants in my cup within the next two days, then this cup's up. However, I forgot. I also have this. Now this I can't squeeze in, but I can take it. Okay. I think, there we go. I can take it out. So if I want to um, drink out of this cup, I can always take it out and close it in. I don't know what BPA is, but it says BPA free. I don't know how that's going to show up on y'all side, but it says BPA free. It also has another hole. So like if I go on a date and we use this cup, we can get two straws up in this thing. And me and whatever girl that I'm blessed to let me date her, we can drink out of the same cup without backwash. <laughs> I have OCD. I know to y'all that doesn't matter um, what side this damn straw came out of, but to me it does. So this is R6, and this is R3. They're like missing three more numbers. Like, one, two, four, five. No. But, this is going to be the last ditch effort if the ants are in and I can't um, get the... Um, black cup to work. So hopefully I won't have to use it. I kind of wanted to use this like when I do um, live videos so that I could be drinking my Gatorade out of here. You know, because Gatorade is thirsty for that deep down body thirst. Gatorade should give me a job for that deep down body thirst. Anyway, that moving on. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed my video earlier today. I'm pretty sure the people on TikTok enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure the people on Instagram enjoyed it. I did not get to go the way I wanted it to go. I wanted to show more. And I will say, you know, it's kind of hard to um, do demonstrations of how people can and will attack you when the people are scarecrows and they don't fucking move. All right, so please don't um, misconstrue that. It's just the fact that I don't have training partners. It would be great if I had training partners to make videos. And yes, we would more than likely work this, this shit out. And that's the thing people also fail to tell you. Um, when you're making a video, and I'm in the video after this. When you're making a video, and it's a martial art video, nine times out of ten, the guys in the video have worked this shit out so that it looks good on camera. And in real life, it's never going to be that crisp. It's never going to be that clean. And it's going to have um, multiple shit that can go wrong. And I say this with respect, and I say this posthumously, because it needs to be said. A thousand things can go wrong in an actual fight before anything goes right. And I'm not the only one who says it. I'm just the first person who said it. And a lot of people will be picking that up because it's true. Even in a choreographed fight scene, actors miss their mark. People get hurt. And um, when you're the actor versus the stuntman, the stuntman has one job. Make you look better than you are. All right? Do not let that go to your head if you're the actor. Because only if you've never been in a real fight before, real fight's not for you. Understand that shit. So when you approach actors who actually have martial art training, don't fuck with them. When you approach actors who have martial art choreographed training versus actual martial arts training and experience, it's a whole other level of shit that you gotta understand. I have martial arts experience. I've been fighting since I was six years old. I've been doing martial arts since I was seven. 
I only fight when I have to. So if I don't have to, I'm not going to. But there's a big difference than when you're a six-year-old kid and your family's forcing you to fight. Then when out of the blue, somebody just wants to beat your ass. Because right? when somebody just wants to beat your ass, you know, you're going to have to defend yourself. Or you're going to have to be faster than they are to the punch. And like I tell people all the time, you're not going to know if you have a glass jaw if you haven't actually been hit. All right? If you've never been in a fight before and you've never been hit, you don't know if you can take that hit until you get hit. Now, you can be blessed in every fight and never get hit and block everything, and that's great. Now, let me bring you back to reality. That's more than likely a one in a million chance that you will get into a fight and never get hit. It's like a one in a million, one in a billion, point five. As most of the fights I've been in, I've been hit. No. Now, here's the things about fighting. These these are a couple of fears that you need to understand. I don't know why I'm doing this. I was supposed to end this, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and say it. The first fear as a fight starts is you need to get rid of that fear of getting hit. Accept it. You're going to get hit. And it's more than likely going to hurt like fuck. Okay? I'm not going to sugarcoat this shit. It's going to hurt. Unless this guy is like a 200 pound weakling. It's going to fucking hurt. If this person doesn't know how to throw a punch properly and he just grazes you with a couple of knuckles, you're blessed. Keep fighting. Especially if you don't go to sleep. Uh... If this guy knows what he's doing and he hits you as hard as he can and you can take that shit and keep going, then keep going because that fight's still up in the air. And this is another thing that a lot of people don't tell you when you talk about fighting. No fight is preordained. You are not guaranteed to win every fight. You are not guaranteed to lose every fight. It's just, it, it's going to come down to skill. It's literally going to come down to skill and experience. All right? And I say this because a lot of times people... A lot of people that we follow as martial artists have probably fought professionally and some have not. But most of the professional fighters haven't fought in the street in their adult life. They may have fought in the street in their youth and their younger life. I never got to fight professional, but I fought in the streets a lot. West Haven, where I grew up at over here in Charlottesville, lots of those motherfuckers know Jonah. That was the identification in which I had given myself since I was a little boy. Also, because I was stupid, I didn't really know my first name was James. All right? <laughs> so by the time I got into, like, the second grade, my name was James. It literally started being James. Other than that, first and second grade, it was Jonah. Because, oh, like, the guy that got swallowed by the well, only I got the name from a comic book called Jonah Hex. All right? They did a movie about it with um, Megan Fox. Anyway, the bottom line is, you got to get over that fear of getting hit. And you got to get over that fear of hitting someone else. Those are two things you got to overcome if you're going to get into a fight. You got to know one, it's more than likely you are going to get hit. There's only one way to avoid getting hit in a fight. Two, if you count the second way. But the first way is to just not get in a fight. Now, if you just don't get in a fight, then you're good as gold. And you're not going to get hit unless this guy max you while you're like back turned or some shit. And the second way is block, block, block. That's why they teach you how to block in martial arts. That's why they teach you how to block in boxing. That's why they teach you how to block when you're a wrestler. It, it, blocking is very important. That's why they teach you how to sprawl. It's how they teach you all the necessary tools that you are ever going to need. You learn in fighting. Now, this is where shit gets tricky. Your experience will always be your better teacher. I can teach you until you're blue in the face, but if you don't even go out and actually get into a fight, you're not going to know if that shit's going to work for you or not. It should work for you if you are training and if you actually are training to fight versus you are just training to accomplish a goal. Like if you train to get a black belt just to say you have a black belt, I'm not judging. Good for you. But I would be careful where I walk around preaching to everybody that I'm a black belt because you will probably run into some jackass who wants to test your fucking skills. You don't have to believe it, but you might walk into a jackass who wants to test your fucking skills. Now, I'm not that jackass, but I have beaten black belts in straight fucking 
mid-level spire matches. And when I say mid-level, that means we weren't hitting hard, but we were hitting hard enough to know that you've been hit. All right? Kung Fu is my shit. I'm good with Kung Fu. I started off in karate, and I switched to Kung Fu. I dabbled with some Taekwondo and various other martial arts, but Kung Fu and Kempo is more my thing versus karate and Taekwondo. And now with my hip fucked up, I can't even make a Taekwondo kick actually happen. But, you know, there's not too many hard kicks in Kempo. It's hard for your body. I don't mean like hard to do, just hard for your body. There's not too many hard kicks in Taekwondo or Kung Fu that my body can't do. Now, when we talk about tornado kicks and butterfly kicks, and that's more the wushu area shit, I am no longer allowed to do those things. Do I do them? Very, very fucking carefully. But like I said, you have to get out of that fear of getting hit. You have to accept the fact that this is a fight. There's no games here. This is a fucking fight. And I'm going to get hit. And it is going to hurt. Is it going to put me to sleep? No. But here's the thing. Now, this is where I become a tiny bit of a hypocrite. You don't know if it's going to hurt. We assume that it's going to hurt. So if we're thinking it's going to hurt, it's probably going to sting a little bit. But 9 times out of 10, it depends on who you're fighting. If you're going against somebody who's a UFC champion, like, for instance, one of the best fighters in the UFC, BJ Penn, or if you're going against somebody like Randy Couture, yeah, they know how to throw a punch. Yeah, I'm going to say that shit's probably going to hurt. And same thing if you're going against somebody like Forge Griffin or you're going against somebody like um, Rashad Evans or um, the fuck is his name? Black guy that Rashad beat that nobody thought he could beat. He played on the A team. Anyway, I can't think of your name, bro. I apologize. But those are guys who know how to hit. Those are guys who have honed their skills and they know what the fuck they're doing inside that octagon. Now, you're fighting people just like that in the streets. The difference maker is that in the octagon they have rules, in the streets they do not. And you're going to have to get over that fear of getting hit. Alright? Now, take your beating and go home. It's done. I'm one of them people. You beat my ass, we're good. I ain't fucking with you no more. Unless you start doing this shit. Yeah, I beat the fuck out of Echo Fan Great Wolf. We got it on video. Shit went viral. I fucked Echo shit up. He leaking. All his teeth knocked out, all that shit. Now, I'm not going to say you didn't do it. But I'd be basing for revenge. All right? I could take that ass whooping and be okay until you start running your motherfucking mouth. I already got enough problems with people dealing with that shit that I got my ass kicked. And now you want to go online and start running your mouth. Well, if we're in the same city, you're not going to be running your mouth long. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get it. Don't get it. Don't get it twisted. I'm not coming with guns or knives. I'm coming back better than I was before. Better, faster, much more wiser. I'm definitely not going to be stronger. But I'm going to be wiser. And everything that you did before ain't working this time. Because I'm going to tell you, when I lost that spine match to the dude from New York, and my family members would not let me live that shit down. And he kept throwing it in my face. And it flashed back to how he got me the first two times with the same shit. And that's the first person who's ever gotten me with the same shit. It was also the last person who ever got me with the same shit. And there's an ant on me, god damn it. <laughs> anyway, the, um, the point being made is that, you know, no. See, if you beat my ass, you beat my ass. We're cool with that. You beat my ass. But if you beat my ass and you start bragging about that shit and you going all over the town... And it's the same town I live in. It's the same town you live in. There's going to have to be a reckoning. But see, this is how this is going to work with this reckoning. When I come for you, you're not going to see me. And when you do see me, it's going to be too little too late. And as bad as you whipped my ass before, no, 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 no. I'm going to be like a super saiyan. I'm going to make you wish you never met me. And I'm going to break every bone in your body that I should have done the first time. Simple as that. If I would have been fucking around the first time, I wouldn't have lost that sparring match with Daryl Dow, whatever the fuck his name is, from New York. I wouldn't have had my family members all up in my face. That's why that nigga from New York beat your ass. And yes, I did say the N-word. I own it. But that's what they said. They kept throwing that shit in my face for weeks after I lost that sparring match. And then I was like, okay, this is how this is going to work. Reverse psychiatry. That's why that... And I was like, uh-huh. 
Now let's see you do it. And then I really hurt their pride. I said, let me let, let me let me explain this to y'all why this doesn't hurt me. Cause they could see, unlike y'all, I stood up. I lost. But I fought my fight. He didn't have a problem with me. Y'all made him a problem for me because y'all had a problem with me and y'all couldn't whoop my ass. So y'all had to go get somebody to do it because y'all are the bitches. They never spoke bad to me again. Ever again about that shit. Until my cousin got killed. But that's when the fight was going to get real. And the Daryl or the Dow dude from New York who became my ISK champion never showed up. He challenged me. I showed up. As he said, he was going to come to my house and beat my ass. And I was waiting for him. Not with any weapons. None of that shit. Because I ain't no punk bitch. I don't need no knife or no gun. These motherfuckers right here win fucking wars. And so do these, and these, and these knees, and these feet. So, I don't need no goddamn weapon, because I am the weapon. Solidified, uncertifiable, fucking, I'm going to fuck your shit up. You never showed up. Had me sitting outside for about seven hours. Technically, it was six. Might have been five. Either way, he had me sitting outside waiting for him to fight me. Waiting. Never showed up. I pointed that out to everybody there. I was like, nah. Y'all boy said he was coming to beat my ass. I've been waiting for him. But well, he's on his way back to New York. He left right behind you. Oh, well, I assumed he was coming to fight me. Nah, he hit the road. I was like, okay. He hit the road. Never got my fucking fight. I don't need it now. But, you know, I'm not closing that door because if he happens to show up, it's, it's on. No, it's on. And I'm not going to lose. And it's going to be real. Now, if he comes to the door and says, I'm sorry, it's over. Straight up fucking over. Because he threatened me when everybody who he should have been threatening were the people who were always brandishing guns on me. I don't own a gun. That's a bitch move. I don't need that shit. These motherfuckers right here, even if I get my ass kicked, these motherfuckers right here is all I'm ever going to need. Yeah, I got an axe down here. And I got a couple of knives everywhere. But that's for in-house protection. Got a bow and some arrows. In-house protection. When we get out in these goddamn streets, these bitches right here are going to give me less time than any of those other weapons that I did. Because as a martial artist, they're already going to know. I can kill you with a comb. What the fuck do I need a knife or a gun for? Right angle, right amount of force. It's a done deal. You no. Know? And I learned all that shit from a green beret, so I know how to fuck your ass up with a fucking spoon and a toothpick. So it's not much that I can't fuck a person up with. The trick is that I gotta get through your fucking ability to defend yourself. Something a lot of martial artists leave out when they make videos. Something y'all probably don't pay attention to because what you see is cool as fuck on the screen. Don't let cool as fuck on the screen get your ass handed to you. Which is why I said, you know, there's a lot of things about fights that people leave out. The one thing they leave out the most is that, one, you were going to get hit. So unless you are the Flash and can block every fucking thing, you're going to get hit. Unless the person you are fighting and yourself just don't have any fighting experience. And if y'all don't got any fighting experience, it's going to be a comedy act, but it's going to be a fight. It's just going to bar down to who's got the, the better skill set. That's it. That being said, I am Echo Fang Great Wolf. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. I have talked way too long for a chit chat. I love all 290 of you because I lost a person today on the, sh the channel. I didn't lose a person in actual life. I just lost a person on the channel. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. I am Echo Van Grey Wolf. This is Comfort Habit number two. Be seeing.